got six quick tips for parking outside in winter and just making life easier. First is windshield wipers up and make sure your automation for your windshield wipers are off every time you turn off your car. Windshield wipers freeze to the windshields, then they rip off if they automatically turn on. Um, next one is don't shovel snow into your wheels or by your exhaust. Uh, exhaust, blocking the exhaust is obviously extremely dangerous and unfortunately people have died by doing this and again with the wheel wells it will freeze by there and cause problems when you're trying to drive. Use an ice scraper, have it really handy, we have it in the back. My favorite thing is actually this broom. It lives by our front door, I can reach the top of the vehicle all the way up on top of the ski box and then I'm not having a load. You can get a ticket for having a load of snow on top of your car. Uh, it is dangerous if you have a giant amount of snow just like fall into the street or buy a car. So clean your car off. Don't be that person. My remote starter. It is aftermarket. The people that owned uh, the Sequoia before us had put it in. We have had zero problems with it. You just press the button. It turns on. It'll run up to, I think, 10 minutes. We've never had it turn off. I do this when the kids are putting their boots on and um, just makes the windshield easier to scrape. I don't always use it, depending on what the weather is. And then, uh, if you've never used a remote starter, you just put it in your vehicle after, turn it, not all the way, so, because it's already started, you don't have to turn on the engine. Put your foot on the brake and drive away. But my favorite winter item is my remote starter. I can't imagine living without it. When I have a super icy windshield, it just helps having the car on for even two minutes to get that ice off. Hope these help and help you go the door quicker. Bye. Oh, do not park by a roof. If uh, this has happened when we've like traveled and a friend parked by a roof, like on the side of a cabin, and the load fell on their car and dented it. So if you are in a situation that you can park next to places where a snow load can go on your car, move it. Uh, it does happen, I think, more frequently than people want to admit. And keep your car safe.